All right, I'm trying to install this key uh, transponder into this remote that I bought off eBay. Um, I got the key cut today. Um, the one problem with it is that the transponder's not in it, so it doesn't start the vehicle, but it'll open the doors. And it's got the remote built into it. The first thing I did was I cut down the sides of this just like I saw in the uh, other video of how to take these keys apart. And what we're going after is we're going after this piece right here. That's the transponder, the black piece. And we're going to open this up and we're gonna install it in there. All right, I was able to get the little transponder out of the key. Um, I didn't hurt my fingers too bad with the knife. Uh, be careful when you do it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble this. So a little screw right here, it's hard to see in the light. I'm gonna take that off, see if I can find a spot to put the transponder in. All right, I got the cover off here, and I'm gonna turn the light on. Maybe that'll help, there we go. I got the cover off, there are a couple little notches here. And what I want to do is I want to put the transponder into the one of these notches here, and I'm gonna try this notch here to start with. And then I have to put the spring back together into this and then reassemble it. And here's here's a little screw that goes in. You need a little tiny screwdriver here. Now, here you go. Here's everything. So here's the screw that goes into this hole here. This gets assembled into here along with uh, all the rest of the stuff. All right, here I have the remote reassembled. I've got the little transponder in there. These are the tools I used. Didn't really need the flathead, but I needed the small Phillips. And I'll show you, it flips out. I always get it wrong when I reassemble it, but uh, now I won't have to practice anymore because I got my project finished. Here I am in the car. Got my key I just made up. Turn the ignition on. Up, everything's working. The key works. All right, I'm down in the shop, and I just wanted to show you that I took my old broken Jeep key fob and I disassembled it. I took the board that was inside here and I put it inside of here. And then I took the key here, removed the transponder, put it inside here. Of course, I took it down to my local locksmith and had him cut the key. And um, yeah, it works great. I'm excited about it. It was a little more work than I thought it would be, but it's definitely a good improvement.